Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Access. In this module, I want to show you how you can create a feedback form. And to do that, I'm going to use the option group feature in form design. So first of all, let's have a look at the table projects. If I open that, I've added these two extra columns from those of you that have been watching these videos before. So on completion, on delivery time. And then these have got scores in, and then I've put the totals on the bottom there, you can see the average scores. So I'll close that down. Then I did a form, a feedback form, which has got these buttons on, which is actually putting those numbers in that table. So when I click, for example, if I put default, so I'm on HMRC, default, default, if I go back to that table, zero, zero, because that's the default setting I've done. So what I'm going to do is recreate this, show you how I've done it, and just close this form down. I've created a copy of projects so you can see that and I'll just go into design on there and just delete these two off redo them so you can see how I did it so basically it's just two number fields so I created on completion as one of them completion so I want some feedback on completion tab and then n for number and then on time for the other one and you can put as many in as you want really tab number and then save that have a look completion and i've got the actual total features activated there from the previous one so what i'll do is i'll just select average for both of these nothing average at the moment but i should come up so that'll do so now i need to populate this information with my form so I'll close this down and say yes to saving that and then I need to create a new form. So create form design I'll go for and I'll get it to look at copy of table projects and then activate the fields. Let's just get these two. I don't want these two to come in just yet. Bring them onto the screen. You can sort that out later on. So for these two fields. I want to use the option group. Now this is a tool, so I'm on form design option group. Click that, draw your little rectangle, and then you start following the wizard through. So wait for the wizard to start, and then you can start putting your questions in or whatever responses you want in. So I'm going to go first off very satisfied, then just satisfied and then not satisfied. So I'm just having three options and then I'm going to do a default option, not satisfied. A default option would allow me to put it back to zero if I need to. So those are the four options. So when you go next, it comes up with what is your default choice? I don't want very satisfied as default. I want default to be default. Next. Now it's got the scores on the doors if you like, so I want to change this, I want this to go from the top, 3, 2, 1, 0, that's the, that's the order I want it in, and then next, save this value for later use, no, I want to store this value, this number, in the on completion field, next, now this is where you can select different styles that you want your form to be in, the one I had was toggle, toggle buttons, flat, shadow, raised, sunken. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to leave it on that one. No, I'll leave it on that one. Yeah. Then next, the title should be the title of the field. So on completion is the title. And then finish that one. So then it sits in there. Now, obviously, I need to do the other one exactly the same. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to cheat slightly. I don't want to go through the wizard again because the scores are going to be exactly the same. So are the buttons. So what, the only thing that's going to change is the actual field that it's going to enter the data into. So I'm just going to copy that. It's selected, so I copied it. Control C and then Control V to paste it. And then what I need to do is just move this to where I want it to be on the form. 
and then I need to change the properties. So if I go back to properties, so it's looking at on completion, I need to drop that down and select on time. Look at on time. I also need to change the label to say on time. So I know that is the correct field. And if you have to repeat that over and over again, you just copy and paste it and change the, the field it's looking at. Now, if I save this form, I'll save this as FRM, FRM feedback. Better put number one after it because I've already got one. Click OK and then have a look. So there's your form. So we're on the first record. So let's go very satisfied, just satisfied. And you go through this next satisfied, satisfied. And then let's do a bad one. Not satisfied, not satisfied for NUFM. And the last one is cat, uh, cat, satisfied, satisfied. And then close this form. Have a look at the table. That should have populated those fields with numbers. And it has. So not satisfied, not satisfied is this one. And then you've got your average scores at the bottom for each of those. Now, obviously, once you've got this data, you can create reports based on this. So that's what I want to do now. I just want to create a, a report based on this table. So we're going to click create report. Let's go for the report design. Let's do it ourselves. So you've got the fields. We need the property. We need to allocate the table. So it's copy of projects, then fields. There's your fields. So what I need to do is a bit of grouping sorting here. I've got it already on down the bottom there. Group and sort. So add group. So I want project name as a group. So then I can just bring the project name in. And then underneath that in the detail, I'll just bring these two in. I'm not really bothered about project ID for this. Let's have a quick look at this because I want to do some calculations on this one. View. Okay, on completion or completion. Yeah. Um, don't really want these boxes around it, but that's that's the case of getting rid of that in um, properties format. Border style, solid, transparent. I'll just change this border style to transparent. Have a look. Okay, it's all off. So now I want to do a little calculation at the bottom. So I haven't got the report header and footer, so I'll just right click on the page one and just add that. And then you can do a, a formula in there. A, B, just do an A, B. So I want um, equals and then A, B, G for average. Open a normal bracket and then allocate the square bracket for the field. So this one is B completion. Now you could use the expression builder for this, but just to show you that you can do it on here. And let's have a quick look at that before I change the label. 2.25. And then you do the same for the other one. I'll just get rid of the label, actually. I don't want the label. Copy that and just paste it below it and do the other one. And then just change that, the title. The f on time. Time. On time, so that gives you that. Should give you the scores on the doors at the bottom, which is the same as what you had in the table. There. Uh, now, I've just done that to show you, you can do that in a, pro in, in a report. I'm not going to save that, so I'll just say no. I could have equally just done the wizard, which is probably sitting people sitting there thinking, why didn't you just do the wizard? Because it would let you do that because there's numbers involved. So if I take all the fields across, go next. I want to group by project name, go next, summary options. So this is what I could have done. So I want the average and the average of that, for that one. Okay, next, have it landscape, next. That'll do 
well I'll put RPT in front of that and then finish and then it does it all for you you get all this stuff coming in there so project ID on completion on time project ID probably didn't need that because it's um, another number which gets in the way and I don't also want all this labeling so I'll just come in there and get rid of that have a quick look just tidies it up a bit and then you spend half your life moving all these boxes around that's why I like to do it myself but you've got that information there you've got your averages in you haven't got the report average um, there's no formula there so if I just copy this complete block and put it there put it in there let's have a look now it works and then just move that across so it's whichever way which and push that back if you want to whichever way you want to do it it's totally up to you but like I've already said you're getting rid of all these boxes through the wizard you might want to get rid of these shaded lines you've got to move them all across it's taking up all this space if you do it yourself um, it's a lot quicker I think but that's all I want to talk about Basically, what we've done here I'm not going to save that is we've created a feedback form and we can populate our table by clicking these buttons it just populates the table and you've got the average there and that might be all you need so hopefully doing the feedback form is what this is about hopefully that was of use for you thank you for your time and i'll see you on the next one